good. The clerk out the screen high. Here's Jacques Vaughn. Another big move by Doc Rivers was putting Jacques Vaughn in as his starting point guard. Now McGrady on a clear out left. His favorite spot. Flashes basket. Not there. Rebound Robinson. Both Robinson and Phil Wallace are waiting on Jason McGrady. That's possession. Robinson at the top of the circle misses the three, and it's all blue underneath. So you what, the Orlando Magic have come out the first several possessions here and played some remarkable defense. McGrady blows into Wallace, and the offensive foul is called. McGrady forcing things just a little bit. Would you agree, Sean, offensively? Uh, yeah, yeah, and he has two or three people shadowing him. Ben Wallace is everywhere that Tracy McGrady is going. It's almost like you have a linebacker who's assigned just to the quarterback. Or, or actually, even in the relative to what we've seen so far. Uh, right now, both these teams are still trying to feel each other out. And McGrady with the two. And, and you know what happens, Brent, so often in, in playoff games or games where you just hyped up, you come out and you expend a ton of energy in those first five minutes. You get a little winded, you get a little blown out. A chance of reaching 100. <laughs> but if they settle down, you are going to see some high scoring. Curry hounding McGrady, sees his baseline. Beautiful wraparound, powerful move by the NBA scoring leader. No stopping athletic ability like that. Hey, Brent, you cannot find an athlete in any professional sport besides basketball that can pull that move off. I don't care what you bring to the table. This guy is a supreme talent. And he got up in the air on that move. I thought he was going to pass it off to somebody along the baseline or out in the wing. That's spectacular. Worth one more look here, Sean. How can Just what? How can you stop this? Takes off on the left side of the lane. Lands on the right side around Cliff Robinson and puts a lot of English. Minnesota fast to be proud of that shot. The beauty of long arms. McGrady plays like he's a seven-footer. Hits from the perimeter and it's high at now at 11. Inside it goes McGrady and T-Match with another field goal. I thought that ball was out of bounds. I thought that ball, I thought that was sure that it was headed into the stands. Tracy McGrady caught that with his left hand, transferred it to his right, and laid that ball in with soft touch. Brent, you see receivers like that on the football field? Exactly, like uh, Terrell Owens, a former basketball player in college, might be going up for one of the end zone. Man, what body control after he caught that. It's from three-point range right here in Detroit. Well, if you're the Pistons, you know you cannot leave Pat Garrity because he's going to knock him down from three-point range. But if you're the Magic, you want him out there on the floor just so it creates more room for Tracy McGrady. Flash turnaround, and now it's eight straight. And Michael Curry was all over that shot. Tracy McGrady was able to fall back, and he's so long. And he couldn't get McGrady free, and so it'll be Armstrong putting it into T-Max hands. Curry knocks this one away. Hamilton now on a breakout. That could get him going. Bounce pass at the other end to Armstrong. Here's Gooden powering in, and the rookie puts nice. one down on Wallace to put Orlando back into the lead. That's an, uh, uh, that's a veteran move. Very unrookie like him to come down with the basketball and challenge Ben Wallace in the block. Garrity again on the, on the inside. We've got a timeout. Tracy McGrady, now four of six from the field. He has scored Orlando's last eight points. Now watch this fadeaway jumper. Curry trying to contest that. It's too long and too athletic. And here's the alley-oop. Look at this athletic ability. Guy catches the ball at the top of the square, lays it in with soft touch. Tracy McGrady, unbelievable talent man up. That's the one thing that we worked on all week is making sure that we man up really, really hard on these guys and show them that we're not intimidated by this this, this team. He said this is a team that is solely predicated on defense right now. McGrady on fire right now. They cannot put him out. After starting the game 0 for 2, he has now hit his last five from the field. But the man's making some more speed. That's a tough call on Garrity here at the other end. 
And here's McGrady, a nice little jab step. He keeps you off balance. He's able to rise up into that jumper. And you see, there's no way you can get to that shot. It's almost tough to just to impair his vision with your hands. He jumps so high. So with Tracy McGrady over on the bench, 50% against this piston defense, the magic shooting. Burt handling the ball, muscling, staying with it, left-handed. The Orlando Magic are scoring at every position right now. You have Pat Burke backing down Corliss Williamson. You have Sean Kipp knocking down baseline jumpers. Whitney's knocking down shots. Hunter's throwing up hook shots over Ben Wallace. Everybody's involved for the Magic. So when Tracy McGrady drove baseline again, he's getting ready for another highlight dunk. Wallace came over and Tracy McGrady adjusted his shot. Pick and roll to Turk is open. McGrady keeps it on the drive high, missing Williamson out now. And Hamilton trying to run against Vaughn. Here he comes. Not there. Battle for the rebound. Knocked away. Hamilton's got it back to pull up short. Into the clerk's hands. And it'll be T-Mac with Robinson hitting good and flashing the other side. Ran the floor beautifully to help McGrady out. There's the athletic ability of the rookie from Kansas. Uh, they had shot two, three, four feet away from the bucket, just unable to knock him down. Left hand, tap back. Gooden again battling for the rebound, and he knocked it over to Gerichek. The Orlando Magic, they are, right now, they're tenacious on the glass. Great switch by McGrady on the dribble, and now uh, charging foul call. Nice help defense, otherwise you have Tracy McGrady with an easy two points. Ben Wallace gets a majority of his points on putbacks. He's not the type of guy who's going to step out and give you putting the ball on the floor, step back jumpers. Good. Oh! Uh, putback! Gooden's 12th rebound of the game and a putback. He has been the X Factor, and no one enjoys it more than T Mac, knowing he can use a little help here in the playoffs. And he, uh, now, that's a shot he did not have when he came into the NBA. He has worked hard on his jump shot. Robinson at the buzzer. So Orlando will take a nine-point lead into the locker room here at the intermission. Tracy McGrady, after missing his first two, hit seven of his last 11. A couple of acrobatic shots. And uh, Drew Gooden, though, was the X Factor, and he's with Sal. Drew Gooden, you came out here with, with an energy in your first playoff game ever that I don't think anyone expected. What, what is it that's driving you right now? You got 10 points, 12 rebounds, four of those offensive rebounds. What are you doing out there, man? Trying to win, that's it. Coach said do whatever it takes to win. And I, you know, ain't no games after the season, so I'm gonna let it all out on the court. Are you having fun playing in this in this offense now that you've, you've been here with Orlando? I'm having a lot of fun, and part of that is uh, Coach Rivers. He said, be free. Go ahead and play. Do what got you here, and that's what I'm doing. How is it facing Big Ben here in Detroit under these type of circumstances? Uh, you know, it's a challenge. You know, he, he's a beast, and um, only way to play good against him, you got to be a beast yourself. Man, well, <laughs> this is thoroughly impressing. You, you, you were a beast in the half. It was scary to watch you today, man. Take, go take a breather. Good luck in the second half. All right, man, back to you guys. All right, Sal. Well, Tracy McGrady finished the season as the NBA scoring champion.